Described below are three independent and unrelated situations involving accounting changes. Each change occurs during 2009 before any adjusting entries or closing entries are prepared. A. On December 30, 2005, Rival Industries acquired its office building at a cost of a million dollars. It has been depreciated on a straight-line basis, assuming a useful life of 40 years and no residual value. However, plans were finalized in 2009 to relocate the company headquarters at the end of 2014. The vacated office building will have a residual value at that time of $700,000. B. At the beginning of 2005, the Hoffman Group purchased office equipment at a cost of $330,000. Its useful life was estimated to be 10 years with no residual value. The equipment has been depreciated by the sum of the year's digits method. On December 31, 2009, the company changed to the straight line method. C. At the beginning of 2009, Janssen Specialties, which uses the sum of years digits method, changed to the straight line method for newly acquired buildings and equipment. The change increased current year net income by $445,000. Okay, for each situation, we're asked to 1. Identify the type of change, and 2. Prepare any journal entries necessary as a direct result of the change, as well as any adjusting entry for 2009 related to the situation described, and we're to ignore income tax effects. For situation A, this is a change in estimate only, and there's no entry required. For situation B, this is a change in accounting principle that is accounted for as a change in estimate. So the first thing we need to do is determine the book value of the asset as of 12-30-2008. We know they were using some of year's digits. It had a 10-year life. So we calculate the digits to be used by taking 10 times 11 and dividing that by 2, and we come up with 55 years. The original cost was 330000 So if we take, and there was no um, residual value. So if we take the 330000 times the sum of four years' worth of digits, which would be 10 plus 9 plus 7 plus 6, and divide that by the digits to use in the denominator, which is 55, we come up with accumulated depreciation through 1231-2008 as $204,000. Therefore, the book value is the original cost less the accumulated depreciation, and that amounts to $126,000. Now we account for the change in principle as a change in estimate. So we take the depre or to calculate depreciation for 2009, we take the book value that we just calculated, and we divide it by the six years estimated life left. That comes out to be $21,000. So our depreciation expense adjusting journal entry for the year is a debit of to depreciation expense of $21,000 and a credit to accumulated depreciation in the same amount. Situation C is simply a change in accounting principle that's accounted for as a change in estimate. There's no extra journal entry required here.